fresh, good, inexpensive. Rhonda Webster is a woman on a mission, a woman trying to stay healthy and trying to get her food stamp money to last. The 51-year-old lost her job last December and has now become part of the statistic. Communications Director Steve Meisner of the Department of Economic Security says he has seen the numbers steadily climb as the economy has steadily nosedived. In a state of 6 million people, we have a million people using food stamps. He says they have one goal. Trying to get people through a temporary bridge to a place where they can take care of themselves. But being on food stamps doesn't mean you have to buy cheap, unhealthy food. More than 100,000 people have enrolled in a new food stamp program called SNAP, a federally funded program that provides educational and nutritional plans for those in need. If you're eligible and entitled, you can enroll in the program and there's not really a budget limit that the state receives from the federal government. But filling the fridge on 70 bucks a month isn't easy. So Rhonda does most of her shopping here at the Desert Mission Food Bank, where the food is much cheaper. Mission Food Bank is my favorite. Here in Rhonda's refrigerator, you'll find a lot of foods from the Desert Mission Food Bank. One of Rhonda's favorites, a dozen eggs, only 49 cents. She says the food bank allows her to get more bang for her buck, and she says she couldn't survive without a little help. I don't really know what I'd do without it. She says she's just happy help is here to get her over the hump. Reporting for Cronkite News, I'm Rachel Nagley.